Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky and I make videos from Lagos, Nigeria. How are you guys doing? Thank you so very much for those of you who keep coming back to watch my videos, who keep liking my videos, who keep dropping the comments for me. I appreciate you guys so very much. For those of you who are my subscribers, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so very much. I am super grateful. I don't take you guys for granted. Please, thank you so, so, so very much. And for those of you who keep watching me without subscribing, like, I don't know, what are you thinking? Are you thinking if you click on the subscribe button, you're going to pay for it? No, darling, you won't pay a dime for it. It's absolutely free of charge. So please do well to just hit on the red subscribe button that is down there and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Of course, if you're watching me up to this point, you love me. Please turn on your notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video like this and you will just receive that alert. Like, moment with Vicky has posted and then you come to check out as I do my thing or to hear what I have to say or to show you guys what I have done I appreciate you all my subscribers and non subscribers for even watching this video God bless you guys so very much but before we go further into this video please hit on the like button you can leave me a comment down below this is just me actually trying to gist you guys it's about to two am 2 am in the morning almost 2 am in the morning and i've not been able to sleep ever since i put to bed my baby has actually scattered my body clock and i've not been sleeping till it's past one two o'clock so i just find the ideal time to maybe i think this will be the time i'll be making my videos you understand because there's serenity no one to disturb me and i'm just here all alone and then i felt that I should come out here and gist you guys about, like you've seen from the title, the not so pretty things about marriage. You understand? Because everybody just tell you about the good part of marriage, the 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 the, the, the fun part, the exciting part, and nobody just actually actually really just sit one down to just tell one. Uh, these are some of the things that you might say. I did a video of things you should, why you should not get married. And most people actually dropped a comment for me even before watching the video. And it, they just dropped a comment off points. You know, that just shows, it goes along with show that show that they didn't actually watch the video. So guys, in this video, I will be talking about, like I said, the not so pretty things about marriage. Marriage is good. Marriage is great. Yes. But there are some down ends. There are some... There's some parts where you just feel like ah, this is not what I envisage. You understand? First of all, when one gets married, when when you get married, there is a there is a there is a part there is a time where you will have to be living together. Like you you it's different when you get when you're dating someone. It's different when you guys are just hanging out. You we are dating when we see each other on a date you go to my house i go to my house and you go to your house or i come visiting you and then sometimes you might get angry and you just want to walk away and you not even you just want to walk again you have a place to walk away so you just walk away you go back home and just to clear your head and that is quite different you understand it is quite different from when you are now in the house with the person it's a different thing because if you ask me truthfully and sometimes i know it's not the right thing to do but if you don't live with someone you actually might not know the person completely you not even you actually you would never know the person completely no matter how much you think you know somebody you can't know the person completely so it's just a total different thing when you guys are dating and then when you are married you come inside and you're seeing it first of all what you have to know is that both of you are from two different backgrounds we are both from two different back this is just me talking about myself do you understand in this video i'm not about to talk about any other person's experience or whatever but some people might relate you understand so if you relate leave it down below you understand so you know you 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 you, you might just you know that you guys are from different background like i am my husband there are things that he did that that he was brought up with you understand and i don't find it funny i don't find it i don't i don't i don't i don't think it's okay i don't think i like it or i don't think i'm in as in he, 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 I'm not okay with it. You understand? That is his brought up. That's one part you have to actually understand. And also, there are things I was raised with. There are things. I, there are some ideas. There are some ways I was raised, and 
it's actually it's totally different from how he was raised that's one thing we actually have to understand you understand because in both in different families we act differently his family acts differently my family acts differently we relate differently we talk differently we, we we live differently we speak differently we are just a, some sort of different people from different background who just come together found love in each other and then decided to settle down and everything has been going on fine you understand but one thing you have to know in marriage is you people are you know, some people they find it some people as simple as toothpaste can bring an issue you understand because people are raised different the thing you don't see as a big deal in your home can be a big deal in your husband's home or your wife's home that's just how people are being raised so you don't just judge or you don't just think that it is all going to be rosy you understand if you come to understand that fact that is when you can try as much as possible to be to be empathetic you understand to empathize and try to adjust to suit your situation and just to be able to make it work and then the number two thing i know that about marriage that is not so pretty is compromise you compromise in so many things like compromise is just the key word because there are a lot of things you will do there are a lot of things you the shit you might not take when you are single and then you just compromise and you just endure you just tolerate you just absorb and you just take it in and i well it's not it's not it is not an easy ride per se but it's also a fun ride especially when you are riding with the with the right person you understand so these are just things people we just have different mentality you have to compromise on so many things in fact you when you are you get married you have to be taking permission from somebody to do every damn thing you cannot just go out on your own and just feel like uh, you're an adult you can just move out and do things the way you want to do this is this is somebody that you're married to his friends you have to get along with his friends you understand if he is someone that has a lot of friends you have to look for a way to get along with his or her friends you understand because these are two people coming together and then you people your friendship or your friends will have to start getting used to your wife or your husband and you as a wife or a husband start getting used to your wife there sometimes you just find yourself in a place where you don't even have your personal time you don't even have your personal space where you just try to just be like uh this you know just like it used to be when you were single you understand you compromise on everything you compromise on the way you you talk you compromise on the way you dress you compromise on the way you eat you compromise on the way you sleep you compromise on every damn thing just in fact marriage is hard work like it's hard work in the sense that you have to wake up every day making a decision for you to make it work because it's not going to be all rosy in a way that you feel that uh, you see people laughing and you see them enjoying themselves and smiling and you feel like you feel like oh these people are having a happily ever after that's hard work we put in the work in it to make that marriage work you understand because okay let me just give myself as an example when i was when i was single do you understand i i actually there are things in, in as much as i was not an outing person but at least i had this freedom to do what i like when i like you understand to do it how i like you understand but right now in a way that it, since i'm married there i can't do a lot of things a lot almost everything without the approval of my husband or without his go ahead or something not like he's controlling me no that's not the case but that's the respect you have to put in place at the in the proper place you understand because i wouldn't like him for him to also do things without even considering how i feel or what i think about it you understand so that's just the difference in you if you're used to a lot of freedom you're used to being dependent like you make your decision nobody stands on your way then you 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 have to know that when you come into marriage you have to understand that you are accountable to someone you're answerable to someone someone has to has to has to has to approve every of your act like you're now like a child that <laughs> you're not like a child that you take permission over everything but i want to go and see my friends you cannot just walk out from the house and just move out like that first of all you even if for those people who have kids already you have children and you think about your children do you understand but when it comes to the husband and the wife relationship alone of course you will not just walk out of the home and not telling your husband 
that you're going somewhere and those, then for those of us who maybe lived in a different place and we are married and brought to a different place it's not really been a funny or easy one or a fun one you understand because i was born and brought up in portacourt like i lived all my life in portacourt i grew up and i i went to all my all my schooling was in portacourt you understand and then i got married a year later my husband brought me to lagos we came back to lagos it was not a funny transition it was not an easy one at all i I really had difficulties with this because I missed my parents, I missed my siblings, I missed everybody I knew because those that that was that was where I was raised. So everybody I knew lived in Portacourt. So this is just me. I left. In fact, this brings me to the point of sometimes in marriage you might lose your identity because in the sense that you get married to you as a lady, you leave your home. Sometimes you're in here in Africa, your family might not even be counting you as a member of that family anymore. Do you understand and you are now struggling to incorporate yourself into some other family that's why you realize that when 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 two two people are getting married the husband people seem to be more exciting you know why and you know why because they are gaining a member while the wife's people might feel a little bit sober because now they are losing a member to the other family you understand you just lose your identity you might you might just come you don't even know how to navigate anymore do you understand lose your identity in the sense that now i cannot just get up and say I'm going to put a cut to the sun. Or I cannot just get up and say I want to do the things that I used to do when I was single anymore. It doesn't happen anymore. Honestly, the marriage has just been a lot has really a lot a lot a lot of marriage needs a lot of patience, a lot of understanding, a lot of patience in the sense that you know when you're you're single and you're dating someone and then there is an issue you might just want to just walk away and just to hell with whatever happens and then you just walk away and you know that nobody's going to question you but he, when you're married you can't just walk away in marriage because marriage is like the a union of two families everybody will sit on top of your matter so you cannot just see that you're walking away you just just sit down and you feel like okay i'm not doing anymore i'm going away ah, you didn't fall from heaven no. you have family you understand and this person also has a family so the way you gather them to bring them that you're getting married that's how you're supposed to gather them to tell them <laughs> you're not doing anymore so it's a lot of tolerance it's a lot of it's a lot it's, it's a this is just the 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 the, the little percentage of the inconveniences, the not so pretty things about marriage, where you have to, you you become more more accountable. Do you understand? You get married, you now have children, you now have more responsibility. You're responsible for your husband, like in the sense that you have to, as a lady this is me talking now as a lady you have to fix things at home you have to take care of the home front these are just something that on a normal day when you are in your house you might sleep to when you like you just relax yourself and just feel cool with yourself you don't owe anybody anything you're not responsible for anything your siblings can take care of themselves you can also just do your thing they can do their thing in as well like but in marriage, you are responsible. You, you have a lot of responsible people. You are responsible for. You understand. And in marriage, there's nothing like privacy anymore. There's no kind of you say I need. I hear people say that in you you need your personal space for we for marriage. There's nothing like personal space anymore. You don't have any. You lose all sense of privacy. Your private life becomes so public to your husband or your wife. You understand. So that's just the thing. So those people who like a private life, I like a private life. My phone is my private life. My, my 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 this is my private section my dad don't touch my private things don't come to my wardrobe don't do this don't do that it's not like that in marriage everybody's in your face and in your business there's nothing there's nothing private there's nothing private in marriage you have to be as an open book like no private life anymore nothing everybody <laughs> <laughs> that's just this is just me telling you guys like i've said like like three four five times in this video it's just the not so pretty thing about marriage no private life anymore your life is now an open book where you have to be as transparent as possible so that you'll be able to make the life the family work you'll be able to make things work out between you people there are a lot of 
there are a few downsides to marriage you understand but a lot of enjoyable things that if you get married to the right person you understand so for those people who are not married and you're planning on coming up on this union um, on this um, hood you're planning on entering this hood you have to choose your partner wisely because it all determine a whole lot of your percentage of your life your peace of mind determine on that one choice you're making do you understand you don't you don't make that mistake of getting married to someone who might just not give you some peace and then you start having issues back and forth with someone do you understand it's really not it's really not um what you should do you have to be very critical in your decision and know who you're getting married to so me these are just part of the few things i know that it's the down path not so pretty side of marriage you might you lose your identity again you understand you you don't belong to your family anymore you don't belong to a new family you don't belong to a new set of people you will try now to act according to their religion their custom their tradition their family rule family rules and regulation and all, all all that stuff you understand and then you compromise on a lot of things you do you things are not will not be done your own way all the time anymore you understand it that means a lot of patience you have to be patient with the person you go married to because they they are most definitely going to get on your nerves going to irritate you but you just have to be patient you just have to be more loving and accommodating and that's just basically but a little a, a few of most of the down parts or not so pretty part things about marriage i just hope that some of you have this not so pretty things you know about marriage finance whichever one it is please i'd love to also hear yours in the comment section leave me a comment down below tell me the not so pretty things about marriage that you know about as a married person what you feel is not is the down part of marriage you understand because we all hear the good 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 part marriage is not just a bad it's not a bad idea it's not bad it's a very wonderful thing you understand but these are just me telling you guys so that if you're single and you want to get married you should know what you're actually going in for do you understand so i would love to hear from you guys let this conversation begin continue in the comment section rather thank you so much guys for watching my video thank you so much for liking thank you so much for leaving me a comment i love each and every one of you thank you thank you thank you and if you've not subscribed to my channel what's wrong now why are you behaving like this now it won't cost you nothing to subscribe to my channel please hit on the red subscribe button subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video like this thank you so very much guys for watching my video i love each and every one of you and i'll see you guys in my next video stay safe and stay out of trouble bye, -bye guys please subscribe hit on that red subscribe button bye guys